Minecraft. No more new content. We're just gonna watch this again. Ah, uh, the good old days. I might make. Hey team, what is going on? It's Nick here. Welcome you know, to a call. mod review. This is called the web display mod and what this mod does it puts a giant computer screen in Minecraft Which actually like makes me really happy because uh, a while back I tried actually making a mod similar to this not exactly like this in Minecraft where I was just gonna try grabbing a YouTube video and playing it and So which is what I'm doing now, but this actually gives you an entire web browser So all you need to do to use this web browser We'll get to the craft recipe here remote is shift right click on it, and then you enter a website so right now I'm on YouTube. So let's actually just go ahead and stay on YouTube. And we'll go to the search box. And let's go ahead and go to our keyboard. And we right click. And it locks you on the keyboard. So I can't move or anything right now. And But see, I'm, my typing, I'm typing up there. So now what I need to do is type in the video title that I want to find. So let's go ahead and look for... Um, let's do... What's a recent video? Minecraft... Doctor Who Actually, let's do this better yet. Oh I gotta you gotta hit some backspace every time apparently so so happy wheels Doctor Who So he that's and it does a search and ah, I'm hitting spacebar, so it's scrolling. Okay Whoops a daisy. Okay, so don't worry. We the screen is totally interactable and look we can buy Doctor Who Dark Horizons a thrilling new adventure now, you may or may not know this, but, uh, whatever it said. Okay, there's an advertisement there for Doctor Who. And there you go, you have my Doctor Who video, which I was very proud when I found out it's actually first. And then you have Matt Smith. Hi there. But more importantly, you have David Tennant. Hello, beautiful. Anyway, so I have a horrible thumbnail. I should remake that, make it look prettier. So, click on that, and it will bring up the video, which is going to probably be playing really loudly. After we play an ad. Wait, don't play the ad. That's copyrighted music. Stop it. No. It's their own fault. They played an ad in the middle of my video. <gasps> it's Adception. Nick here, and welcome Not back to Happy Wheels. And today okay, we're so we're watching my Happy Wheels video. So we can just sit back here and watch Happy Wheels and all day long. Awesome what oh, yeah. Say, all right, I can't actually click the buttons in Happy Wheels, obviously, because it's a YouTube video. But we can use the web browser. It's totally interactable. So this is something else. So let's go ahead, and we go up here, hit Shift. Right click, oh. and we'll go ahead and type in, uh, what's a good website? Let's Sorry. do Twitter. I like Sorry. Twitter quite a bit. So, I think we all like Twitter quite a bit. Oh, boy. It's going to take a while to log in. Oh, boy. So. All right. And, oops, I did not mean to hit enter there. Well, I did mean to hit enter. And click on the password field. Oh, I missed it. Okay, password field. And type in my password for Twitter, which is, um... I think I know my password, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm logged into Twitter. So now we have our beautiful Twitter up, and I can read people I'm following here, and see all my tweets. You, it, by the way, if you're not following my Twitter, you should follow me on Twitter. Um, I tweet about great things, like mod development and programming and my game I'm working on. So you can see Jennifer Dahl, Banana Peeler of the movie. Hello, Jennifer. All right, so what we can do is click on this, and I can retweet it. And go up here. I want to retweet it to my follower. And I can favorite it. So I favorited her tweet. And then I can go here and right click. And because, you know, we're doing this now. So we might as well tweet something. So let's go ahead and tweet. Oops, don't tweet that. A W. We're going to tweet childish. So can I actually use the down and select? I can't. So Brandon. So hey there, sexy man. I think I just typed in man. Um, I think I, I, think I somehow just selected it. I did say man, okay. So, hey there, sexy man. What's good? I'm tweeting you from... A vid e o, and then we're gonna be done with that. So we'll exit off this. And you can see, I wrote Childish Brandon. Hey there, sexy man. What's good? I'm tweeting you from a video. So I'm gonna hit tweet, and it's gonna tweet it. This seems to actually run faster than my home internet, which is stupid because it's using my home internet. But it just seems to run faster in here than it actually takes 
for my web browser load, which is ridiculous. So we can use Twitter, we can use YouTube, um, Facebook I'm sure would work as well. And then if we shift right click, where else do we want to go? What's another great website that we all visit on a daily basis, I'm sure. Um, we can go ahead and let's check out the Juju, Juju Craft website, JujuCraft.net, I believe is the website. And it's the server I play on, so the awesome website here, which I don't like the background, but I like how the rest of it looks. And it's snowing on our web browser. We can we navigate around. So we got all that. And let's go ahead and turn off the weather. Stop it! Okay. And let's go ahead and just go over the crafty recipes real fast. For this, you can see I have the screen and I have a keyboard. And we'll go ahead and over how to make this. So to make the screen, you need three glass on the top. Uh, red ro rose, red dye, blue lapis, and cactus green in the middle row, and then we need three glass panes on the bottom. And then to make the keyboard, which looks really funny in an item frame, um, you need to make these um, stone keys. And how do you make those? Just put a stone pressure pad in a crafting uh, spot. That's all you have to do. It's really easy. Put a redstone in the middle, surround it with the stone keys. All right, and we'll scoot over here. This is the link. And how you use the link is you, um, it, that's how you craft it. Redstone on top, stick. Um, and a pearl, and then a button to the right. And here's how you use this. I'll actually go ahead and go over this real fast. Let's break our screen. And you can see this is made up of blocks. Uh, this is a 16 by 9 screen. Um, so I think you need, what's that? 144? I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, and we can right click on it to start it up. And it started up our web browser. And I'll have to grab out a keyboard linker. And um, let's go ahead and go back to YouTube real fast. So HTTP colon slash slash youtube dot com enter we'll right click on our screen with this screen selected please right click a keyboard we'll right click on our keyboard over here and now they're linked that's what keeps me from doing the keyboard so now we can look at our honest trailer for star trek into darkness which is a horrible movie by the way um just to let everyone know you can see how pacific rim should have ended which i'm not gonna watch because i haven't seen the video and we can navigate all our youtube life again so you know all that good stuff it's what we want to do with your life so we go ahead back here. We can look at our IndieCraft Hot Tub episode. It's going to play. It's going to be really loud. I'm hearing my own obnoxious voice again, which is Good awful. Morning, and then, oh, stop it! Stop it! I don't want to hear it, man. Love we'll skip the ad, and we'll let the video go ahead and rock out. This, this um, mod does cause quite a bit of lag. I mean, I'm usually when I record, I lock my frame rating at 60, and it's pulling me down to about 40 right now just to run this mod, but I think it's totally worth it. Uh, I bet if I just destroyed the screen, it would it'd be fine. I'm um, playing the video also because that's such a high refresh rate, it's probably making things worse. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it always keeps the same refresh rate. So you can watch my own video. I don't even have to record new videos. I can just record the screen. I mean, recording a video. So if you break the screen, yeah, my frame rate just skyrockets back up. Phenomenal. But, but it's totally worth it to have the um, screen. So yeah, guys, that is the web display mod. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to hit that like button down below and go check out the modder. Um, go check out the mod, download it, and show the modder your support. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit that subscribe button down below so that you won't miss out on more mod reviews and other great content. So thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!